What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk briefly about structure and properties of ethers. The geometry of an oxygen atom is similar to water, alcohol and ethers. As you see here, the geometries are all the same, we had it before. In all three cases, the oxygen atom is sp3 hybridized and is tetrahedral. So as you see here, this one is water molecule. And here we have alcohol molecule and here we have ethyl molecule. So as you see here, the, the angle between these two is changing and it's increasing. Depending on the type of alkyl groups we have, this is going to be more than the alcohol and water molecules. Although ethers lack the polar hydroxyl group of alcohols, they are still strongly polar compound. Ethers are ideally suited as solvents for many organic reactions they dissolve a wide range of polar and nonpolar substances and their relatively low boiling points simplify their evaporation from the reaction products nonpolar substances tend to be more soluble in ethers than in alcohol because ethers have no hydrogen bonding and hydrogen bonding network to be broken up by the nonpolar solute Polar substances tend to be nearly as soluble uh, in ethers as in alcohols because ethers have large dipole moments. Ethers are relatively stable and unreactive in many aspects, but some others react slowly with the oxygen in air to give peroxide. So these, some of these ethers they are going to react slowly with oxygen in air to produce peroxide compounds that contains O and O and some of them are going to be very explosive ethers are polar molecules in which oxygen bears a partial negative charge and each attached carbon bears a partial positive charge however only weak dipole dipole interactions exist between ether molecules in the liquid state Consequently, boiling points of ethers are much lower than those of alcohols of comparable molecular weights. 